Hey guys, I got this call. Customer said that the unit would not shut off. So we're going to see what we've got going on and see if we can get it fixed. It's an old TWH train air handler and heat pump. Customer said that the condenser seemed to be cycling properly, but the air handler never shut off. Some of you have already got an idea as to what may be going on, but we're going to try to prove the problem as to why the air handler will not shut off, and we'll go from there. As you can see, our low voltage control wire is not even connected. The condenser is off, the thermostat is in the off position, and the blower stays running. I know that if the system does not have power on that coil, that the normally open contacts that the fan is tied to ought to de-energize when there is no power. So we're going to start by replacing the relay portion of the time de delay relay and see if the new relay will eliminate the issue. We'll finish putting on the new relay, transferring wire for wire from the old relay to the new one, transfer the board for time delay off of the old relay and attach it to the new relay and then we will power it on and see if we still have a continuous fan operation. Alright, so we have power back on and we do not have the fan running like we had before. I'm going to go ahead and test to confirm that the old relay was definitely shorted or not opening. The two terminals that just gave me a continuity tone are supposed to be open when the coil is not powered. The center and side terminal is supposed to be closed when the coil is not powered. We're going to go ahead and fix the broken fan wire for low voltage control and confirm that the system operates now under proper performance. tested the system with the new relay on the time delay board. I found out that even with a call for fan, um, the time delay board was not allowing the blower to come on at all. So we got a new relay. Read up a little bit on the uh, transition. It's a different design and we will power it up and see what happens.
with the new time delay relay in we do have fan operation when the system is running we're going to disconnect the green and white wire from the relay board to simulate a stop from the thermostat and confirm that the new relay actually will shut down after its time delay has passed. Alright, so the fan just shut down and we know that the time delay is functioning. I'm going to plug it back in and check performance on the blower motor as well as the reading on the capacitor. I'm satisfied that the system is functioning properly with the new relay in there. I'm going to get everything closed back up and do a cursory check of the unit on the outside. Make sure that the refrigerant level is proper, that the capacitors are good, and etc. Alright, so the condenser fan motor has an amp draw of 0.8. Move over and check the compressor amps. We got a 10.1. Go ahead and check the compressor capacitor. Amp draw on that is 4.9. We'll get our voltage and do our calculation for the compressor capacitor. Now we'll do our calculation on the condenser fan capacitor and then we will check the charge. Our pressures look pretty good. Ambient temperature and indoor temperature considering. 
the customer did purchase maintenance, we will be coming back to clean the coils and confirm the charge after those have been taken care of. Interestingly enough, after we had uh, played around with that relay for a little while, it did break loose. You can tell that I've got continuity when I touch my leads together. And where we previously had continuity, we do not any longer. So, the fact that it was sticking in the first place means that it should have need, been replaced regardless, but uh, it's not stuck anymore. As always, thanks for watching. Look forward to your comments down below. Like, subscribe, comment, and share. And we will see you on the next one.